Animal Jam Classic, formerly referred to as Animal Jam, is an online virtual desktop game that was released on September 9th, 2010. It was created with the help of National Geographic Society, which originally was intended to be a game to educate children about wildlife. About 10 years later, it has become a game that revolves around trading, rarity, and toxicity. Hey yo guys, what's up? It's your favorite raccoon, migrox 21 here, and today we'll be talking about quote unquote the end of Animal Jam Classic. Although Animal Jam hasn't announced closing down the game anytime soon, it's very clear that without change, this game has a huge lack of growth and doesn't have the brightest future. As you guys know, I'm a huge advocate for Animal Jam and I love the game nonetheless, but I feel as an influencer, it's important to put my opinion out there to start a conversation and advocate for change. Animal Jam Classic was a game that grew quickly beyond belief. In 2011, the game had about 1 million users registered and by 2013, there were well over 10 million players in game. The game's growth and popularity resulted in tons of users creating content for the game, and with that, there were Animal Jam YouTubers. Individuals including Apari, Pepper, Twinkle, Snowy Claw, and many more influencers received tons of recognition in the Animal Jam scene, thus inspiring AJHQ to create a role for some of the best influencers, and before they knew it, they became Jambassadors. Before we talk about how this is relevant to the lack of growth in Animal Jam Classic, let's consider what an ambassador is. By definition, an ambassador is a person who acts as a representative or a promoter of a specified activity. Summed up, an ambassador overall is someone who promotes something, whether it be a service, a product, or in this case, a game. When Animal Jam was at its peak, we saw tons of content revolving around the game. For example, jammers such as Apari and Bepper were consistently uploading. Consistently meant different things for everyone, whether it be two to four times a week, and sometimes people uploaded daily. The game was so fresh and there was so much to record about, but over time, the most watched jammers began to fade out of the YouTube scene. Everyone was growing up and had their lives to live, which of course is completely understandable, but due to the lack of representation of the game, not many people felt inspired to continue creating Animal Jam content. Animal Jam content began to drop drastically, and tons of hackers and scammers came into Jamal, which ruined people's opinions on the game. Not only that, but there wasn't as much representation as there had been previously on Animal Jam Classic. Animal Jam Classic players were beginning to feel neglected, as there weren't many major updates in the game. So realistically, to anyone who wanted to create content, it already felt like everything you could make content about was already made. There was only so much you could do with Animal Jam. I mean, for example, if a clothing company sells the same set of clothes for years to come and doesn't really add to their collection, there's not going to be much growth in their consumer rate, as people want change at some point. Animal Jam has become a game that people return to purely for nostalgia. Not for the newest updates, but for the memories that it once gave them. To be quite frank, games such as Wizard 101 and Neopets update much more frequently and drastically than Animal Jam. Things took a turn when a word of an app called Animal Jam Play Wild was soon to be released. As everyone thought this was to be Animal Jam Classic as an app, players were quickly surprised to see that Animal Jam Play Wild had more individuality than Animal Jam Classic did. It became obvious that Animal Jam Play Wild was now prioritized over Animal Jam Classic. This only upset Classic players more, as they already felt like Animal Jam Classic was neglected, and now they saw this new game getting updates left and right and hardly anything in their beloved game. From a business perspective, it's easy to understand why AJHQ would invest more money into Play Wild than Animal Jam Classic, considering a majority more children and individuals had a mobile device rather than a desktop. This making it a more accessible game and much easier to focus on overall. It was making them more money, so in a way I can't entirely argue with that without seeming selfish. They have to do what needs to be done to keep individuals employed and to keep their games running, but at the same time, it was quite difficult seeing my childhood game become less and less interesting to me. The excitement I had to log on as a child was gone. Animal Jam became a game I opened in another tab and just checked on ever so often. Animal Jam Play Wild, like Animal Jam Classic, quickly became popular. Tons of individuals created Play Wild content and thus we had a new community of players specifically towards Play Wild. As Play Wild grew, Animal Jam Classic received less and less attention. And on Animal Jam Classic's 10th birthday, AJHQ thought that the greatest gift to give us was a slap in the face when they completely relabeled Animal Jam Play Wild as Animal Jam and referred to Animal Jam as Animal Jam Classic. 
This not only was the cherry on top to all the players who already felt like the game was neglected, but it hurt. The way I like to think of the situation and explain it in more simpler terms, imagine my favorite candy, Reese's, and my not so favorite candy, Reese's Pieces. Now what if one day they decided to relabel Reese's as Reese's Classic and now Reese's Pieces are referred to as Reese's. Now when you go online and you try to buy what you think to be Reese's, you may have accidentally ordered Reese's Pieces. And now when they come in the mail, you're quite upset. <laughs> Honestly, with that example, I just like to say that it's just completely unnecessary and people are so used to it being called that, so why even change it? They're two different things, it's okay. This rebranding caused a ton of confusion in the Animal Jam community. Even I myself kept installing Play Wild as I thought it was Animal Jam Classic. There were even times where I downloaded quote unquote Animal Jam Classic and then Play Wild would open. What? In my most honest opinion, it really felt like a forced way to bring more recognition to Play Wild, especially amongst the classic players to get them to give this game a chance. You think you were playing Animal Jam Classic, but then when it fully opens up and you're like, hey, this is Play Wild, get that out my face. By this point, tons of players had quit or become inactive as Animal Jam Classic didn't keep up with its time. It didn't help when in early January of 2021, Adobe Flash player shut down, which lost the majority of Animal Jam Classic players as they were Chromebook users or don't have access to a desktop device. Overall, I feel like Animal Jam Classic will never reach its peak again as the changes that could have been made were never made as the game was no longer represented as much after Play Wild came out. I will still advocate for Animal Jam in hopes that the game grows, but with all that I've gathered, I'm completely torn and unsure. <laughs> I truly hope you guys enjoyed this video though. I would love to hear your guys' opinions on this and make room for a conversation. I know this was a pretty strong opinion, especially coming from me, as I love to talk positive on this game and be quite uplifting, but I think it's time to open up conversation and be more blunt with how we feel, you know. I want to be honest and upfront with you guys. I want to be raw. So yeah, other than that guys, um, make sure to like this video, comment, and subscribe. It would absolutely mean the world. Other than that guys, have an amazing day and night, and I'll see you guys next time. Alright, bye guys!